What's good y'all, White Boy Entertainment, and today I'm going to be showing y'all me going off in stage with my stretch playmaker. This is me playing with a random. Y'all stick around to the end of the video, y'all drop a like, drop a sub, and peep how cold my stretch playmaker is. I'm not trying to start nothing, but I legitimately think I have the best stretch playmaker in the entire, I think I have the best stretch playmaker in 2K20. Like, I think I'm better than Duke, but it's all good, because I'm back on my paint beast. So y'all stay tuned for the next videos, but y'all stick around for this one. Watch me cook up, bro. Keep in mind, I'm playing with a complete random. Yes, sir. He might be an all-star, but y'all know how I love them power forward paint beasts. So we're in good hands, bro. And I really, when I'm commentating this video, I can't even see what their builds are, so... They're not even that good. For stage, they're trash, honestly. So I'm not even going to come and say I dropped off sweats in stage. But I am still in stage, so they're not in stage for no reason. This isn't bums, though. Yes, sir. I get diced up, and he misses it. Snag up. Oh, shit. See, I'm telling y'all, them power forward paint beasts, bro. I've been trying to tell y'all. My goal was to not give him ball back. Yes, sir. Coke up. Y'all see that? Like, look how I'm moving. I'm 6'7 at a power forward moving like that. Moving like a guard guard. I'm blinking red with one second left. But we still score, though. I'm clutch like that. I'm not even screen made like that. I think I was just trying to get some stamina. It's a slow start, bro. Just wait till I start dicing them up. Oh, yeah. Give me cooking up. He somehow makes that with literally no quick draw at all. Somehow makes like a 20% mid range. We get lucky there. Big bailouts. Eventually, I start cooking. Green. Let's go. Big greens, bro. Y'all see what I do? Big no meter. Y'all already know. If y'all don't have your meter off, take it off. I think I've said that before, but yeah. We get another step back green, and y'all can see my silver green machine is activated right here. And if y'all watched my last video, the best shooting badges in 2K20, I'm going to leave it up in the cards at the top. I got my silver hot star, and I got my silver green machine going right now. Y'all go watch that last video for the best shooting badges, bro. Because it's the reason I'm greening in this game right now. I'm not even trying to... Oh, shit. He gets a lucky little miss dunk. I guess we deserve that for him making that midi. But y'all can see the difference. I can already tell this is a more entertaining game just from the jump. Just because I'm in stage. It's just not as... You don't just see me waxing people in the park like for gameplays. It's more interesting. I should probably go to stage more often. It's more entertaining for y'all. Oh, look at me breaking him in green. That's what I do, bro. Best stretch playmaker in the game. Y'all see me making him twerking and grinning it in the corner? I'm, yes, sir, bro. Hot start plus green machine. I'm telling y'all, I got the best shooting badges in the game. You could even look at Ticino. He rocks silver volume shooter. Volume shooter is not even good. If you're, if you really trust your jump shot enough, bro, hot start is, I'm telling you, it's green. And that's not even Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame is insane. Look at us up 15 to 0 right here, bro. We're just cruising through this game. This is just going to be a one light gameplay because I don't really post stage gameplays. But I just want to show y'all what my stretch playmaker is capable of doing in stage with a random. But y'all look at the ISO, man. I'm out here playing like a guard, bro. Like, like I remember when I told y'all to make your stretch playmaker. Okay, that, of course that happens. But remember when I told you guys to make your stretch playmaker 6'7". And all you guys made it 6'8 because of Duke. And now you all have a lower... Like, you all have a lower, like, ball handle and three ball just for no reason. I got six snatch blocks on this build alone. At least 50 on my pain bees. And I'm going to post a video on how to get those, actually. But yeah, y'all. This is the best stretch playmaker build. I don't know how many times I have to say that. It's the way I made it is the best. And you see he's hop cheesing me. He's doing, I don't know. He's probably has bronze fancy trying to do that shit. He misses the three trying to be like me. 
I'm pretty sure he has 98 on. If you have 98 on still, you should probably just get on FIFA or something. I have no words for you. And he's still reaching. You know they're probably just screaming in the party right now. Now they make this. They make the end process take way too long. This 30 second end was supposed to, you know, ended up taking five minutes. Ugh. I don't really know why I was dribbling so sloppy. And we come down post fade and it's off. Let's go. He gets a snag. Clutch boards and we green the midi. Let's go. You know, I'm telling you, I don't miss an open shot with no meter in my jump shot. And if y'all want my jump shot, comment down below, bro. I'm not going to give it out yet. It's green every single time. Yes, sir. Green again. I'm telling you guys, I do not miss. There has not been one white this whole entire game. Green machine, hot start, and I'm telling you guys. And you see we get takeover. We're about to take some ankles. You know, casual. Snatch, making him right hand on red like his twister. In the final play of the game, I just decided to mess with him right here and milk the whole clock out. But before this game ends, y'all, if you guys stuck around to the end of this video, I fuck with you heavy. And if y'all are new to this channel, y'all subscribe and turn on notifications and like this video right now. Because I got bangers on the way. Look at that green, y'all.